Hi everybody, my name is Taylor Green. I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Uh, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the other audiologist here at Audiology Associates. So two patients in this compilation. First patient's mine, Taylor's is the second patient then. So uh, now I think this was a post-irrigation procedure looking at this because it does look a little bit wet. I don't know, the patient will be using a lot of drops um, inside the ear canal, but we're just getting a grip you can see is almost like the skin layer really, really deep in the canal here, right on top of the eardrum. God, it looks, it's really, really stuck to... It is. Like, it looks like it's right over the front of the eardrum as well, it's like I said. It's sort of radiated here, and you can even see yeah. where it's kind of lifting and peeling from the side of that canal wall there. Oh, Yeah, just uncovered just part that, of the eardrum yeah. there. It's almost... Let's see if we can hold on to this piece. It goes really I, wedged in there, isn't it? I kind of love and hate doing these ones at the same time because they, they, when you start seeing them peeling away, like down the ear canal, and then you just yeah. see it detach, and then you're like, oh, here it comes. Yeah. But then at the same time, you get these little bits that are still attached that start making it whistle. So they, we, yeah. we call it clarinetting. Oh, uh, oh, oh. that's going. That, I'm sure that was going then. Is that going? Oh, carry on. Sorry, about that. I thought we were going. <laughs> <laughs> what is going? There oh, we go. There are, there is going. <laughs> I thought I saw some movement. Don't doubt yourself. I'm sorry. No, it's your. I was thinking it's there. It's not there. It's there. I think it's wrapped in this sort of skin parcel, like a dim sum wax skin bundle. Yeah. There, there you, you go. Could see, yeah, you could see that grey sort yeah. of material on there then. Really <clears> deep <throat> on that canal yeah, that was, but that's coming out really well. Oh, Ooh. okay. <laughs> Hang on, so I'll give it a closer. Time, then. Three eighths of an inch. Oh, I, I got uh, the wrong glasses. It, I was like, was it one, one and a, what, one and a half, just under one and a half centimeters. Yeah, there you go. Look backwards. <laughs> there, there you go. Oh, this is a good oh, one. Oh yes, this, this is, is a. a you, might, you might want to make yourself a pause the video and make yourself a cup of tea on this one, guys. This is a really interesting one, actually. Um, so a, a lady came in to see myself. Um, now. I'm just trying to remember the full backstory. This particular patient um, has had some some bad experiences in the past with with having wax removal. Wax removal. Oh no. Yeah, um, found it really painful. Um, ha has had you know d like quite severe dizziness after it, and just yeah, really had some bad experiences in the past with wax. So the patient was really really nervous coming in to see myself. Mm -hmm. So to start with, I thought, oh, this just looks like a really sort of like soft wax plug. But you can see we've this is a this is not a, a wax plug. So what we've pretty much got here is a, a lot of like keratin. We've got a lot of like really dry, hard skin here, which is very, very stuck. And this is actually right up against the eardrum. So it's no wonder this particular patient's had some previous issues. It. When I started to remove this, I kind of thought this almost looks keratosis mm. obturansy. Yeah, <laughs> obturansy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, it, it's it's it was quite turned out to be quite a tricky removal, uh, but worked out really well. To be fair, mm. I mean, I I was quite quite pleased with the results. You can start top layer there. That almost, you know, like you see like a picture of the outside of a brain, it's got that kind of rippled mm. effect. It almost looks like that's folded keratin, doesn't it? All yeah. the way up, like it's folded soft keratin. No, I, I've sw I think I've swapped down to the fine end yeah. here just to be a little bit more precise with these bits because the, the standard tube wasn't really getting a grip. And you can kind of see where we've tried to remove this and I've kind of lifted it, mm. it's just sat itself back into the same position it was that's what it was before so we've got a bit of a fight on our hands here difficult with that keratin skin isn't it because it, yeah. it, it's so hard it just wants to return back to its normal yeah. position isn't it? yeah you could see it's really frustrating this because you can see we, we we start to we start to move it and we're lifting it and you can see it's actually detached here but it's just not pulling away for us and as you can see me just kind of gently wiggling back and forth just to try and loosen this this piece away you can see with the movement you're making at the bottom here above the suction tube you can see that whole top section moving with it so this is one just big one piece, piece of skin so would the patient put off 
can't sort of go in to get their ears cleaned up for a little while then because they had a bad experience. Yeah, um, it's, it's yeah. Um, and the, the lady had left it literally right up until it was almost not even tolerable anymore. Um, I mean, this patient's hearing was, uh, the, the, the patient had said to start with that, you know, once they've had wax removed, the hearing is not, uh, like naturally is not great anyway. Mm -hmm. But obviously with this being in there, there was almost nothing at all. You know, there was almost no hearing at all, bless her. Um, so I, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised this particular, you know, this lady was, was really nervous about coming in to have this done. Thing is, I'd say to <laughs> people, if they were, if they, you know, if you, if you don't forget, if you're a patient and you're having this done uh, with any practitioner and it's uncomfortable or you feel out of sorts or you, anything out of the ordinary is going on, tell your practitioner, okay? And if you don't feel comfortable to carry on, also tell your practitioner that you don't want to carry on. Because we see so many patients, don't we, that come through that have had really, really poor experiences, bless them, elsewhere. Um, and when we get to them, they're really nervous and we try and talk them through as much of it as we possibly yeah. can, don't we? But if you are having, you know, if you're in that situation, please don't be afraid to tell you. And always do your due diligence, check the reviews of your practitioner. If you want, go in and speak to your practitioner before you book an appointment. You'll get a feel for that, that sort of clinic. So I was just doing that bit of a scrunchy face then where, you know, I, I popped the rose and inserter in uh, gently just to try and reposition the yeah. bottom edge of this um, of this skin plug just to try and get a better grip with the forceps. But you could just see I tried to get a grip and it just kind of pushed it back into position. Oh, it was really frustrating one to do this one. It really is frustrating because you want to get that lip to you. Um, but I suppose, especially when it's right up against the eardrum as well, you're, yeah. you're always a little bit more cautious. And again, going back to how big these new Rosen inserters are, the, the smaller Rosen inserter would have been perfect here because it with the side of the Rosen inserter is almost kind of touching up against the ear kind of, So I want to try and avoid putting any pressure there. So you can see I'm gently, gently trying to reposition. You can see all that softer, mm. thicker skin underneath there. Yeah, I think it's. I think we use the same manufacturer. I just think they've changed their design for some yeah. reason. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. So we've managed to just get underneath. So gently lifting up D oh. during this whole. Like I'm. I'm a bit of a. a I wouldn't say a talker. I'm a bit of a talker. You anyway, are a talker. But, <laughs> but uh, throughout the the whole sort of process, you know, I'm constantly checking with the patient. Like especially little bits like this. I'm like, you know, I you know, checking with the patient. Are you okay? You know, are you feeling all right? How you, you know, how you doing? That's a case in point. You just lifted that really high, and that was a perfect angle to get that grip on with the forceps. Ah, He's dropped straight back down it, again, isn't he? The the problem with it, because we we when we're going in with these tools, we have to go in above the camera, mm. so it, it's almost like you kind of want to go in like from the bottom yeah. rather than trying to go from the top but it, it's just almost impossible because you just you, you're not going to have the yeah. well you probably could do it but it's it's just going to be impossible for you to get a, a, a decent view when you almost when, have when like you're a, a curved upwards yeah yeah jaw. or oh, like, i'm really really giving this a a, a, a good, good old lift yeah just a Look at the, look at the thick soft, is, yeah. thick keratin under there as well. My goodness me. That's here we go. I, I've, what I've done here now, I've, I've kind of angled the forceps differently. So I'm, with my arm, I'm actually kind of going in like this. I'm, I'm almost kind of lifting it sort of so almost upside away, down. Right? I'm doing this really slowly here. Because I, again, because of the position of this, I know that this is really sort of firmly attached to where the eardrum is. It's just broken a little piece away, so you can see we've got this softer layer here now. Oof. There we go, back with a section. Look how much is there. You can see how much, how tightly compact this yeah. has been right against the eardrum. This is not going to look pretty, <laughs> is it, when it comes away, when everything comes out? It's not. This is this is not going to be your textbook eardrum here, guys, just to, just to kind of uh, give you a bit of a warning there. <laughs> the, what you've got to think of is this would normally be the skin that would be migrating down, forming the canal wall skin but this is just all been collecting around that. So yeah. you're not getting that lovely migration off the eardrum. So it's probably going to be really, uh, Messi is doing a bit of a disservice, but it, it's, you know, that it, it might look a little very mottled, yeah. probably 
you might not even see some of the features on this looking at this yeah now i i the the patient didn't experience any any dizziness at all oh, doing amazing. this because i i was i was really worried that you know especially when we were getting to these bits where we were taking these thicker pieces away from the eardrum i was kind of half expecting the patient to start feeling a, yeah. a little bit oh, um, squishy yeah did they experience any discomfort at all while you're doing it? no discomfort oh, no none, none at all There's the, the no patient was should be uncomfortable guys. Yeah. if it's uncomfortable you need to stop patient needs to soften their wax and need to go away and come back you know it, don't try and get everything out in the first attempt if it's uncomfortable for the patient let them go away with a good experience and soften it up and get them back in a week later yeah or oh, you can just start to see so i've let go of this here now just to get a like, pull it forwards get a further grip you can see the little bits on the side are starting I'm trying to, to look move around the little. side of the forceps <laughs> i can't see around the side of the forceps we are moving it i'm gently 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 doing this this is i think it's going to break away it's tough for that softer keratin, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know, mine is a bit... Oh, no, yeah, it just yeah. broken away, it yeah. But I think it did loosen some of it. You can see how this is actually pulled forward yeah. slightly now. So that it's, ridge it's, there at the top has come, come yeah. down the canal, isn't it? So that would have been the point I thought the patient would have at least felt a little bit of dizziness with, yeah. with just like sort of how compact this was over the eardrum. So oh. Just trying to detach this side section here. Now I'm going to try and oh, look how hard it is. You can see that like, this whole piece at the top here is quite. That's tough. Yeah. That's not a, that's not an easy one to do, especially that deep in the canal as well. And um, the, the the other ear was absolutely perfect. There was there was no issues at all with the other side. It was just this particular. Just this particular side. <laughs> is there any history of like ear infections or anything with this patient? Right? There, there has been um, a, a history of mm. um, of general issues with with this particular patient from from a child as well. Um, uh, patients experience a lot of earache as a child. Uh, no, no reported. Um, like the patient wasn't sure whether she had any previous perforations mm. or, uh, but you know, in, infections was mentioned and earache. But no, she can't remember anything else other than that. You'd always be really, you know, mindful and cautious with that level of keratin in that attic region as well. You know, are you looking at other issues going on yeah, there? Yeah. So there's d d normally with 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 this particular portion of the ear canal, this is normally where we would expect to see a cholesteatoma mm. to, to form. So I, you know, I wasn't actually sure at this point whether, you know, that's possibly what we could have been looking at if we hadn't had done or if this patient hadn't had done anything about it you can just kind of see you'll see once this comes out just how deep that that particular portion of the ear canal is i've opted for the jobson horn here in a in a hope i can get a grip on the whole bit on the whole piece to just bring it oh, forwards poor patient putting up with that for such a long time Like I said, I, I've already mentioned it, but you know this eardrum is is not going to look clean or healthy. I'm um, just giving you a bit of a bit of a warning there once we get to the end. So uh, obviously, I wouldn't have wanted to put any the, the patient through any any more of this. There's still some resistance, isn't there? And you yeah. can see that that piece that's snaking off to the left hand side, going up on a, across the eardrum there. There we go. We've managed to remove oh, quite so a large a piece big there. Big plug, wasn't it? <clears throat> we are coming to the end guys <laughs> there you are. some people are on their third cup of tea right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness me oh look at this dear 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 i i would have written a letter straight back to the doctor um after this so i would have referred this patient back to the gp just to get this looked at excuse me guys just because I'm, I'm well I think you can see a little bit of granulation tissue yeah, actually yeah, in this as can, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Yeah, not nice, not nice. And there we go. You well, can, you can you see can the see, features yeah. of the drum there, can you? But link yeah, your and you might have to pause. And look how deep, <clears throat> look how deep that sort of retraction is there. That's, yeah, I, and we would have left it there. I wouldn't have, I 
didn't want to really risk getting anything more wow. away. I've taken away as much as I safely can. Well done, um, right. So yeah, I've referred this patient back to the GP um, in a hope they can get this locked up by ENT. Um, but yeah, that was a that was a really really difficult that one. I, easy, I really yeah. wasn't expecting that when the lady uh, when the lady first came in. I was just expecting a oh you know nice nice easy yeah. soft little bit of wax there. You, I could see there was a little bit of dead skin there, and I thought oh here we go. As soon as I started, I thought oh, yeah. this is going to be a long one. But, yeah, yeah, so yeah, you did well, and that wasn't an easy one to do at all. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to like, <laughs> share, our third, follow, subscribe. Third video in a row. Third video in a row. <laughs> oh my goodness. And uh, if you do have hearing issues, ear problems, wax problems, tinnitus problems, anything like that you want to come and have a chat to us about, you're more than welcome to check out a link to our channel page uh, and there's a link to our, well, check out the channel page or the bio, there's a link to the website, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but as always, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of your ears. And take care of one another and myself and the lovely Mr. Taylor Green. We'll see you again real soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.